Hi friend, Happy New Year. I hope your holiday season was spectacular and I'm so happy that we're back together again. As with every new year, I always try to set some resolutions or goals and I'm sure you do too. Am I always successful? Maybe not, but I always try to give it my very best. As I've aged, I've learned that not everything has to be perfect all the time. But what I can do is be mindful to just do the best I can and be grateful for where I'm at. So today I want to talk about one of my resolutions, which was always organization. But I want you to think differently about organizing. It's great to think that we can sit out and have our whole house be organized and perfect, but that's not always realistic and we don't always have that time or that luxury. So I want to talk to you today about taking 10 minutes and working at organization in chunks. So I'm going to show you one area that I discovered this holiday season that definitely needed a little TLC and it was my wrapping station. I opened it up and it was a disaster. So I want to show you by picking areas in your home where you can allow 10 minutes and make a difference. Whether it's one drawer, one shoe closet, one wrapping station, one party or pantry. By setting a timer for 10 minutes and working diligently just to clear out clutter, throw things away, or sometimes in my case just reorganize what I've already organized. There are other people who live in this home and they don't always see things exactly the way I do as far as organization. So let's grab something to drink and let's see what we can do in 10 minutes. Let's get started. So this is how I stored my wrapping station previously, in a tall Rubbermaid container that was designed for it. Bags, gift tags, everything were crammed in this container. And what I discovered this year was that I had to completely empty the container out onto my counter, taking up valuable wrapping space just to find what I needed. So I ordered three very simple items from Amazon that I'll link below that I thought would help me utilize my gift wrapping station just a little bit better. So as we talked about earlier, as I set up this gift wrapping station, I just want to talk about organization as a whole. Oftentimes, I think that we can become discouraged or feel less than because our homes aren't as organized as what we see perhaps someone else's is or we think that their house is. But I want you to start to think about organization as an attempt to help you have to make fewer decisions in your daily activities of living, such as choosing an outfit for work, choosing clothes for your kids in the morning, finding your keys, or finding your kids' shoes. Organization should simply help you control those decisions and make it much easier for you to function in your home. So take a few minutes, find those areas in your home, like I did with this gift wrapping station, and simply get a few tools or use the tools you already have and eliminate all of that excess noise or clutter. Throw things out that you know you don't use. Put them in a more refined space so that as you go about your daily activities, it becomes easier and easier for you to find the items that you need. By simply choosing an area like I did with my gift wrapping station, blocking out 10 minutes, organizing it, throwing away the clutter, getting everything out of a variety of spaces and refining them to one location made a huge difference. This station didn't even take me 10 minutes to organize. The white bands were kids' slapper bracelets and I used those to corral my paper. For me, that was a real headache. This year I noticed that I would use scotch tape to keep my rolls of paper together and then when I would tear it off, it would take some of the paper off. So these are reusable, which is also a great thing. It eliminates more trash and garbage and helps us kind of recycle things every year. And I just put those around all of the paper. I was able to get all of the paper that I had had in that container crammed in there into this new organizer that is a heavy canvas with two plastic 
compartments on this side that you've seen earlier for bags, wrapping paper, scissors, bows, whatever. And then it also has a compartment at the end to help me corral all of the ribbons that I found. This one container allowed me to consolidate but helped me eliminate digging through because I can see what I have, I can make a decision quickly, and it makes the process of wrapping a gift now or later so much more enjoyable because I can unzip it and see everything at a glance. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Let me know in the comments below what task you pushed forward to utilize your 10 minutes on. And remember, if you don't get it done in 10 minutes today, you can always continue tomorrow with another 10 minutes. These small increments of time and consistency are what will help you reach your organizational goals in 2024. But until next week, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Bye-bye.